Bruh, I'm not a big movie guy, but I'm loving this film. This is Clinic Day. Thanks, Coach. It all starts here. I'm not skipping any steps. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. That's right. You're playing like a superstar. That's what the film is telling me. But the rest of the league, they're gonna take notice too. So you're gonna be a marked man moving forward. Hey, it's easier to get to the top than it is to stay at the top. I'm ready for it, Coach. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Look. You've taken your game up a whole nother level since we met for the first time during camp. And I know there's another level you can get to. So what do you think? You up for it? I'm up for the challenge. Let's watch another one.
It's the NFL on EA Sports. And this one features Jameen Davis, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Commanders and the Colts just ahead on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between the Washington Commanders and the Indianapolis Colts. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Garden, and CD, you look at our quarterback matchup in this ball game. That's where the focus naturally gravitates, and I think we have a fairly interesting one here. And both of them have terrific ability to improvise. And that means when the first read's not there, how quickly can you go through your progressions? Can you hang in there and take a shot as you release it? Can you buy time outside of the pocket? Can you pull it down and run if need be? I think we'll see all of those traits on display in this one. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. Well, he did go 2-2 two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went 2-2-1, two, two and one, with the 1 being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? He threw 1 when we were watching through an interception, and the defense got on him a little bit. Good nature, late, but they're letting him know, you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns, two picks. But as you said, they got the win in that effort last week. The numbers for him from a week ago, 23 carries, 130 yards. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They've really asserted their will out there and are confident they can repeat it again this week. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. He'll get it inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bank at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 44 yards rushing for him on their opening drive of the contest, and it's now first and goal. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. here on first down and he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line Cole Holcomb proving too much there for the offensive line he gets the sack so they get pushed back to the 11 and here's second and goal from the gun it's Taylor it's a pickup of three but still a little work to do on third and goal From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away.
Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Some more great football coming your way in prime time to wrap up the month of October. It starts tonight. Could it be a Super Bowl preview? The Packers and Bills from Buffalo at 820 Eastern. And then tomorrow, Halloween night, Monday night football, the Bengals and Browns from Cleveland. And how this game has changed in importance in recent years. That starts at 815 Eastern. Jamin Davis there to bring him down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw. Cobb. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner. That quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. Okay, ready. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. They'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And I, I never played quarterback, but I'm thinking as a quarterback, you're a little bit into the game now. On first down, Cobb. He's got the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Cobb. That's gonna be caught by Allie Cox. 
And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards on the play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to QT. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. At the 31 yard line. Back to throw again. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. And he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line. First and two at the 26 yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll run here with Taylor. And he takes it in for a cold score. Jonathan Taylor as the first half is winding down. And the Colts are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates... Come the Colts, they'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They run once more with Taylor. Four yards the pick up, first down. And Brandy, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Escaping the pressure right. All right rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Now they're a little further behind the eight ball after the interception led to the touchdown. So a two score. Throwing on first down, Cobb. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Third quarter here in Indy. This is second and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Man. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early... Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Oh, 
Now a play fake here on first down. Open man is QT complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. First and 10, Taylor now. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. Another good reception there, the Colts on the march. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand the field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A big completion there against double coverage. And Charles, one of those guys had a pick on him earlier. Yeah, so he didn't allow that to deter him at all, did he? In fact, it probably was a challenge. Okay, you got a pick before? <laughs> it's my turn now to make the big play. And that's exactly what he did. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. Cobb flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, he will step aside for just a moment. Looking to throw on second down. Cobb. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Ashton Doolin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Colts have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they get the score, partner. Game's not over, but they still need some help here. Agreed. They definitely need some help, but they took care of the first part by scoring themselves. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Let's go! Throwing to start the drive. Cobb. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing again. Cobb. Hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. That one a gain of 20 in a first down like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first and 10, Cobb. Got an open man, it's QT. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. 
They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. He'll get this one complete there to Pittman. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. He's back to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw. And that's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. On the draw is Taylor. And brought down, but not before the inside the 25. 86 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Get his three timeouts left, right? Think you gotta use one here, don't no you? Doubt about it. I'd use one right here. The Colts gonna use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. to throw a quick reaction as he catches it off the tip and he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line back to back nice gains that one for 14 yards and another first and when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in one of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? He'll look to throw. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime, or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, 
They can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? The overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back and keep everything in front. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Back to throw. Cobb. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. Little OT scramble drill that time, Mr. Davis. My partner, I can tell you from personal experience, nothing drives a defense crazier than having things covered and the quarterback takes off and picks up a first down or big yardage. Because whether we are in zone or man, it's easy to lose track of him because you don't always have someone assigned to him. And once he goes, now everybody's scrambling to try and tackle him. On first down, calm. Accepted. That'll seal it. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And the Commanders are going to win this football game here at overtime. All right, Brandon. Normally when you hear about guys making two interceptions in the game, you're thinking, must be a free safety, maybe a corner. How about getting two picks out of one of your linebackers? Again, he's just in the right place at the right time. And that's another great play to come away with the football. A couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this one, Charles, would have been different, but ultimately time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short, and they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was.